Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakradash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Hey, brothers, those of us in his knowledge and his truth, we know the time of our redemption draweth nigh. Even when Yahweh Shai was here on the earth, he stated right before his return, it will be a time like never before seen upon the earth. In 2 Ezra chapter 13, verse 31 states this, And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. I came across this story here. Let me grab it here real quick, brothers. And I'm not going to play it because uh, several videos that I did over the past couple of days got hit with copyright strikes, so I took them down. But I'm going to leave a link in the description. And brothers, you've got to watch this video here. It's 14 minutes long, but trust me, it's worth the watch. And as you can see, it has stated here on the screen, he has five minutes to live. Woman allegedly injects a man with mysterious substance inside of Walmart. If you can recall, in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 12, it stated this. Moreover, no one knows their hour. Pardon me, brothers. Moreover, no one knows when their hour will come, as fish are caught in a cruel net or birds are taken in a snare. So people are trapped by an evil time that falls unexpectedly upon them. Let's come out of this and let's go here. Because the book of Ephesians tells us, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15 through 16. Then see that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. As you listen to this story here, and I'm not going to spoil it for you. This was evil what, what occurred here. But we who are endowed with the Holy Spirit, we can't walk around with our, with our phones, with our, with our faces in our phones. Your head has to perpetually be on a spiritual swivel. Let me come out of this here, brothers. Let me come back to this. Let me go here. Even through the prophet Ezekiel, the Lord stated in Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5, Thus saith the Lord, an evil and only evil, behold, has come. Let me come out of this and go here. Even though Isaiah, the 47th chapter, is about the downfall of America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, but this verse will apply to the people, specifically the wicked that live in America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. Isaiah 47 verse 11 states this, Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it rises, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Meaning destruction is going to come upon America, Babylon, the great out of nowhere. How much more so these people who are just drifting about in the damn world. Peter, 1 Peter specifically, chapter 5, verse 8 states this. For those of us who are of the elect, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking someone he may devour. Let's grab the definition of devour very quickly here. Devour. Devour. Of course, it means to eat hungrily or quickly. Let's look at some synonyms here. Because when you look up words, it adds more depth to the scripture that you're reading. Destroy, consume, engulf, envelop, demolish, lay waste, wipe out. Annihilate, devastate, raise. Let's go to that definition. Raise. Completely destroy. To gut. To ravage. To ruin. To wreck. I like ravage. Cause severe and extensive damage to. Hey, brothers, go back and watch this video here and watch closely what happened to this man. Keep your head on a spiritual swivel, brothers. Shalom.